The YouTubers, the YouTubers, snip, 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 polishing their turn. The subreddit will drop the views, and everyone is laughing, laughing with you, but you. Reddit does it for you Demonetize again What about my hard work? React to 50-50 Blurring bloody wounds And you've got Reddit, believe it or not, is a website that was founded in 2005, not 2017. Now a lot of you are probably thinking, yeah, well of course it wasn't founded a year ago, dumbass. I just thought I had to clarify because it seems like over half the YouTube user base has only just discovered Reddit because all these people are suddenly becoming head over fucking heels for making and watching content where people just go onto a subreddit and, hmm, I don't know, um, just read it. Well, I mean, usually there's a group of friends and you read it out to each other. One person's really loud, one person's really quiet. They laugh over each other. The audio peaks all the time. There's no compression at all. It's a thing of beauty, I tell you. It really is. I told you it's not ready yet. Honey, just show it to them. <laughs> I can't do this, man. I can't do this. Come on, just read it. No! This is going to stay on the internet for... Yeah, exactly. I'm thinking it's like a fucking well today I want to look at some YouTubers who have recently jumped on a Reddit bandwagon whether they've completely ditched their old type of content for Reddit content or they're just dabbling their feet in and look at how uh, the trend is drying up very quickly. I don't need it. I don't need it. I need it! I can look at using Reddit in videos in various different ways from the now slightly dated Reddit 5050 videos to the new trend of reacting to r slash whatever it may be. It's a very simplistic video concept, reacting to funny, creepy, cringy Reddit posts, stunting the originality of some of our favorite creators. And although it may be giving unoriginal, uninspiring creators an easy way to make content and rise to popularity, on the other hand, it's a fun way to bring Reddit into the view of those who are unfamiliar with the website, too lazy to go on it, or just don't understand how the 13-year-old website works. Now I'm gonna try and stay uh, fairly neutral in this video, because I'm not the biggest fan of Reddit videos, but before we get negative, let's look at some of the positive times that YouTubers have used Reddit for content. <laughs> Example one! Nutsy is one of my favorite channels on the entire website. They go the extra mile, and then an extra 100 miles after that to expose Photoshop butchery, try hard their way to Instagram ask glory, and debunk the latest secrets in the YouTube algorithm. In their Try Hard series, Ned Say and his oh, Yay! Oh. partner Nikki traveled across Europe taking intriguing yoga shots, recreating the shots of Instagram as in yoga pants models, for lack of a better phrase, from the likes of models such as Jen Salter. Cleverly examining how to grow the Instagram account, Ned Say did a lot of research into utilizing different websites for growth, one of which being Reddit. But what's the big rule of thumb with Reddit? Oh yeah, no self-promotion! Or at least they want you to keep it 90% plus non-self-promo across the whole site. Unfortunately though, you can post less than 1% self-promo and many users will refuse to give you any upvotes for your work at all. But Nerd demoed an example of how to trick users into bypassing this by making up some sappy story about My grandfather painted this picture of Cthulhu and he doesn't think it's very good. What do you think, Reddit? Kaboom! 20,000 upvotes! Hits the front page of our all! Everybody falls right into your lap. Much like on X Factor when a mediocre singer suddenly becomes Beyonce because, ah, oh, they got fired from a part-time job eight years ago and their life just hasn't been the same since. And then boom! Hey, you can buy that painting from this link here and you've got yourself a whole load of free promotion. It's explanation of how this works and a later deciphering of why using alt accounts or friends accounts to boost posts doesn't work is a great example of how to use Reddit for content. Or, you know, you, you could just react to r slash cringe. Example two. Justin Wang, or Wang for short, 
is a YouTuber who has grown an exponential amount in the last six months, most notably with his series Tales from the Internet, which has explored stories, myths, the origin of memes such as Brian Peppers, the Max Headroom incident, Loss, and My Little Pony Cum Jar. Oh, okay. Now, of course, with videos on popular internet trends and topics over the years, Reddit definitely helps them with research and access part of the content. But Wank has also covered Reddit mysteries such as the Reddit Jolly Rancher story and the unexplained hard drive mystery that was revived after years of unanswered discussion. Although sometimes Wang may just be representing content you can already find on Reddit, he tells the stories in his own entertaining style. And then you got this. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> Man, what a, what a drastic set of actions. And this... I found this movie on the deep web, should I open it? Despacito 2, full HD. Oh god, and this. Bacon versus vegans are uh, who wins? The bacon. <laughs> I'm not getting the point across very well, but I think some of you might... <laughs> Now that we've licked a couple asses of popular YouTubers who have used Reddit in an entertaining way, let's get ready for the dislikes! Leave a like on the video if you like another Reddit video. Whoa, <sighs> no, sorry, that's not right. Let's get ready for the witch hunting! Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to Reddit's 50-50 challenge. That was when I ruled the land. God damn it. No, that's not it. That's not it. Let's get ready for the leafy is here disclaimer at the start of the video! As we approach the segment where I use some words such as uncreative, maybe boring, let it be known that some feelings may be hurt. Yep, that'll do. Meme review! We're gonna be looking at some channels which I really do enjoy, including Cowchop, who I personally think makes some of the best content on this entire website. Yo, yo, yo! Nicole, who you guys probably already know I'm a fan of. Hi, I'm looking for my uh, friend who's gone missing. And of course, YouTube dicta- YouTube god. PewDiePie, PewDiePie, what does he do? Uh, PewDiePie. God, that's like that's from like eight years ago, isn't it? Pretty much every YouTuber I'm gonna talk about makes good content, and they have a big fan base for a reason. So let's try and not get salty if we talk down on their Reddit videos, okay? What Spartans is kind of a loud YouTuber. Real name Brandon, Spartans was a commentary YouTuber who grew alongside creators such as I'm Alex, Elvis the Alien, and No Fuckers, making videos on controversial personalities and trending topics much like the others. Its growth was pretty consistent until early 2018, when its views jumped from 80 to 100k per video, to 300k to occasionally over 1 million views per video, and its channel gained a pretty large jump in subscribers. With the 65 million viewer dip in April, it looks as if the break from trying to watch Dr. Phil on Lele Pons, extremely original content in the first place, to a 900k plus view Reddit video featuring Slazzo, Blues, Dank, and Quiet, set the dramatic jump of content in stone, deleting a lot of old content to replace with a new direction of reacting to subreddits. Although it may be tedious having to cut up a Discord call, screenshot the subreddit, sprinkle in some memes, and add the bubble right in subtitles, Wattspawns has found a solid way to take a subreddit full of great content and make it give you a headache. Although I must admit, if you're a fan of that deliverance of content, it's pretty great. I mean, Brandon does a good job of taking something as simple as screenshots and audio and making it entertaining using smooth animation and transitions. And it's obviously working well for him with his recent increase in subs and views, putting him back into the imaginary hole of relevancy that YouTube viewers seem to believe in. Now, the famous movie's way to transition from Wild Spartans is to talk about the people he makes Reddit videos with. Kingani, Slazo, Bluesdank, Quackity, Hoover, oh, and then there's I'm Alex, and I Nava, and Parasynical, and quite- OH MY GOD WHAT IS HAPPENING TO THIS COMMUNITY?! Reddit. Commentary community. You underestimate my Right. Most of these people are good YouTubers. Well, although half of them aren't really my cup of I never pretending to drink a cup of coffee, I can appreciate the fact they work hard on their content. And much like in that Guitar Hero episode of South Park when Stan starts playing Heroin Hero instead. Hang on, I almost cut the dragon! <laughs> you almost got me! The Reddit robot is now leading these YouTubers astray down a long, dark path, chanting, Read me! Read me! Come on! 
it's easy news. Now their content has changed from well-crafted, edited, and researched videos into bubble writing and sound effects. Oh. <laughs> Blue Stank also has long hair. I thought I'd address the elephant in the room first. He's also fallen from well-crafted commentary videos, if there's such a thing as well-crafted commentary videos, to doing Reddit videos with his friends, which... It's cute. Be the Reddit post! How about, uh, no, let me, like, introduce my video, yeah, first. Wild Spartans. Today, I'm doing it with, um... He works. I didn't know who she was, so I just picked her up off the street. <laughs> Can we end the recording, please? Quite, with a KW, who has rose to recent popularity with his hoodie, shades, and mouth mask persona, has put a unique spin on trending topic videos. Actually, Quite isn't doing too bad with the Reddit videos, he's just sort of dipping his toes in. Uh, these are fingers, but nonetheless, the skit video he did with Pyro and Blues Dank and King Arnie. Fucking hoodie! Get out of here, you can't, can't, you can't, you can't, can't fucking, you're a fucking hoodie! That was really good. <laughs> Any last words, green bitch? No, oh, but then it turned into a Reddit video. Ah. Today we're doing a Reddit video. Quite the HQ, someone who was doing a good job of keeping the comically heavily edited gaming highlight videos alive. What a long walk to avoid saying funny moments, huh? And I never, who um. So Zoella's not really having no, the best of weeks. So recently Zoella, I made two Zoella videos, and the first one so video I made is Zoella. Zo Zoella. A two YouTubers who make Reddit videos with other people, but for the most part keeping them off their channel, not to tarnish the style that they're already popular for. Now personally I'd say, good job guys, keep it up. But by the look for the growth these YouTubers uploading Reddit videos are getting, I wouldn't listen to me. But one person in particular who had an early start on a Reddit bandwagon is a YouTuber called Slazo. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Um, uh, today we'll be doing r slash sad cringe. And uh, it's cringe that's also really oh. sad. So let's, le let's have a go. Now Slazo, like most of the others, seems like a nice guy who works hard to try and keep the content flowing. And of course this is no leafy-esque exposed video. So let's keep this part live. Fucking you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fucking you. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop, dude. Plus, those videos are so hard to watch. It's so boring. He's fairly funny, and hmm, I'm getting uh, hints that he doesn't want to make Reddit videos anymore. The fucking bass is fucking real. Except he has thousands of fans who genuinely love him and his content, and that's just great. Mmm. Whoever's done this, um, I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make you feel pain. I'm gonna make you feel the pain that I felt. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you understand. Listen up, okay? The patio is currently not open because it, it is closed, okay? It's, it's not open, okay? It's shut, just not open, fellas. Snap. That one's going in the cringe compilation. I'm kidding, Slazo genuinely seems like a nice dude and he works hard to keep the content coming as you can see in this video intro. You may notice my voice is a bit off and my throat's <coughs> Not too great. Uh, uploading daily while doing school. It's, um, well, it's basically making me age about 10 times as fast, but who cares? Let's do the video. So nobody's getting mad when he steals jokes from the comment section. He steals jokes from the comment section? Ah, the meme format, which instantly became Facebook level. Conclusion of this video, if you want a good meme, head to Facebook. Right, I think what they did they accidentally placed a staircase block instead of a fence one. Easy mistake to make. God, I feel so bad for this man. He looks like, um, that Rick. I was gonna look for more examples of jokes just reused from the comments section of that Reddit post, but honestly, it just seems like a common reaction. I'm not gonna bust Slazo's balls over it. What this guy actually means is he couldn't find any more, or he was just too lazy. Probably both. Probably both. There are also examples of when he shows a top comment or a joke that he'll laugh at in the video, so I'm guessing these were just a coinky dink. <laughs> now, a lot of people compare Slazo to Sorrow TV, a very popular Reddit channel, which I had never heard of in my entire life until I started making this video. But I've only heard good things about him, and Slazo has this to say about the people who compare him to it. Okay, so I've been called a Sorrow TV clone a lot, namely because I cover the same posts when I do a subreddit as him. As if I meant to change what the top posts are. We're both doing top posts of a particular... 
How am I meant to be different? And we will talk about Sorrow, but I actually found a Reddit thread discussing this, whether using Reddit content for views was just stealing content. The thread was called, This channel is made entirely from stolen content from Reddit, showing a channel called Nate TV. Although most people were defending him, this thread's a great place to see the arguments for and against taking Reddit content for views. Comments include, Are you amazed, bro? Stolen content makes way more money than original content. So one replied, for a lot less effort. And Facebook has Reddit content, and Twitter has Reddit content. Why are you complaining? There's tons of channels like that. Some just have Google text-to-speech, some just play shitty copyright-free music, and other people voiceovers. Are they commenting slash criticizing the content? You are allowed to use for commenting slash criticizing the content. I haven't seen a channel above, by the way. Equals three, Tosh.0, no, and two channels slash people slash whatever that borrow constantly. Wow, would you look at that? And now I'm the one using Reddit for views. But the general consensus is that people steal content all over the internet. For example, when you see the same tweet go viral from eight different people. Clip shows like the late equals free. Oh yeah, guys, just a reminder, your rent is no longer due. <laughs> and at the end of the day, Reddit content is available on the website for all to see. Who is going to copyright a Reddit post? Clap emoji between every word like it's twitter.com. Who's gonna see an original meme on Reddit with ATK upvotes and not repost it? No, it wasn't actually till a few years ago that I actually started using Reddit when bands I liked were doing AMAs. Because at first I was put off by the unfamiliar format of all the text and the replies and the threads. And so there was so much content on Reddit that I was missing out on just because I didn't understand how the website worked. And once you get familiar with the website and ignore all the assholes that gatekeep every sub. Hey, just message you to let you know that, um, that I'm a way better person than you. You're scum. It's a great site, but many people just don't put the effort in or are put off. Like a viewer of mine saying, I kind of enjoy Reddit videos because I hardly go on there and I'm not really familiar with any of the posts. So not only are these videos promoting subreddits, they're bringing the content to those who otherwise wouldn't see it. Now let's look at some bigger people who are making Reddit videos. The idea is that I'm really tall, hence quite big. Sorrow TV are finally the big daddy of Reddit videos, and I'm saying that after only watching one of his videos. But the guy makes good content. You can tell straight off the bat. The Grammy goes too. But what puts people off from the Wild Spartans, Blue Stank, and Friends group, taken from the opinion that many people have spoken to about this topic via Discord, is that they often speak and laugh over each other loudly. Yes. Yeah, See, yeah that's, that's what I said. So, that's what I said. so, so who Wait, disagree? The, oh my fucking god. And although they may fuck up and start again left in for comedy reasons, of course, they leave slip-ups in all the time. Or so my viewers believe. Sorry, it's, it's not very good research, but I just can't bring myself to watch more than one of them. Sorrow, on the other hand, brings something completely different to the table, which is voice acting. To me, watching a Sorrow TV video instantly feels like watching Fairly Your Parents and suddenly Nickelodeon have a technical error and start showing r slash Pornhub comments instead. The editing of channels such as King Arnie or Pyrocynical may be much, much better. However, Sorrow definitely knows how to turn bland screenshots into an entertaining video. Much bigger YouTubers such as PewDiePie Pine H3, I've been known to dabble in Reddit for videos. My favorite hobby of all time is beating my own meat. Are you ever about to drop a sarcastic comment, but then you decide against it? <sighs> because their small brains won't understand your elite humor. Yes! Even Anila, in my opinion, ruined the flow of their videos when they stopped using their second channel for all their reaction videos, only using their main channel for big skits or, or larger projects, and then started using that as a glorified reaction channel instead. This is when they started making a few Reddit videos, such as reacting to comments on the Roast Me subreddit, Facebook Mums Against Dabbin, and also r slash Crappy Design, a subreddit that PewDiePie has also looked at recently. Although H3's Reddit videos were back in 2017 before the craze really took off of 2018's ditching commentaries for Reddit videos. Felix, on the other hand, transcended from the god tier of screaming at Happy Wheels for daily content to absolutely meme in by being the biggest channel on the entire platform and just uploaded trash every day. Leave your entries in the subreddit, bro. Don't get me wrong, although his videos are trash, I love PewDiePie as much as my neighbor Bill.
but the guy can get away with making countless try not to laugh videos or just reacting to any shit he wants and then Brad 1 and 2 spice it up with their great editing. Same goes for his Reddit videos. Stop. Brad or Brad 2, what the heck are you doing? You're supposed to edit the lasers so they come from my fingers. Instead, you just blast them all across the screen. What am I even paying you for? But one big channel whose Reddit content is arguably some of the most boring content on their entire channel is Cowchop, a group featuring Immortal HD and Uberhacks Nova, two previous members of the creatures who have been known to do Reddit 50 50s on their own channels. But unfortunately, their Reddit videos invoke the least amount of entertaining reactions, oh, leaving little room for their prop destroying. <laughs> and gross out antics, which can often derail their videos and make them much more entertaining. Oh. Instead for the Reddit videos, they, they just sort of sit on the sofa and go, ah, ew, dude, uh, ah. Not, not much going on really. <laughs> dude, I don't want to see that. Dude, ah. I love cow chop. I love cow chop. I love Cowchop. Don't hate me. I love Cowchop. We've looked at some channels that read it too many times, and now we can conclude that YouTubers have been using Reddit for content for years. It's just its recent takeover of the commentary community, for lack of a better phrase, has made Reddit videos seem way more prominent on YouTube with them popping up everywhere and everybody's recommended, as it's an easy YouTube concept to tackle without having to write a script. Think of all these different topics. It's just so much easier. But it's just drying out and getting so plain so fast. Oh, oversaturation, it's killing me. But it also gets your friends involved. Hooray for friendship. Woo! And the idea of Reddit videos stealing content is 50-50. Not to be confused with Reddit 50-50. That's probably a place we shouldn't go. There are many who dislike the concept, but there are many who just don't give a shit. And after all, you wouldn't put a photo on Reddit if you didn't want it to be potentially shared anywhere. If you do it, you will face the consequences. <laughs> This is just a new phase of YouTube that everybody's about right now. And in a couple years to come, people will probably forget about it. There'll be a new trend, a new style of video to move on to. But at the end of the day, if Reddit carries on producing content, so will YouTube. That's just a theory. A an internet theory. Thanks. Before I end this video, I want to thank Ryan Kinder, Alex Silverstein, and Gage Anu for helping me research as I know next to nothing about Reddit YouTubers. Thank you very much for watching. You can like this video. Hey, you can even subscribe to my channel. Oh my god, you could also leave me a hate comment and report me for harassment. Just put some ideas in your hands. Why am I doing that? Before I go though, I really want you to give me a high five. Are you ready? Oh look, it's actually a Patreon logo. Full you. Shout out to my patrons, Ryan Kinder again, and Cyber Twin. Thank you so much. Um, I I'll just put the money uh, back into my losses for buying a diamond sword. I'm not gonna waste any more money on memes. Just kidding, I got a pickaxe too. Good night, everybody. Yeah.